Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about the elementary or fundamental particles and the classifications of elementary particles along with their antiparticles. But, before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. Elementary particles. In particle physics, an elementary particle, or a fundamental particle, is a particle which has no other substructure, which means that, it is not composed of any other particles. At present, the particles that are thought to be elementary, or fundamental particles, include the fundamental fermions, which are the quarks, leptons, and their antiparticles, that is, the antiquarks, and antileptons, which are generally called matter particles and antimatter particles. And, another type of fundamental particles currently known are the fundamental bosons, which includes gauge bosons and the Higgs bosons, which are generally called the force particles that mediate interactions among fermions. A particle that consists of two or more elementary particles is a composite particle. So, let's have a detailed look. At the classification of the elementary or fundamental particles. Depending on their spin, all elementary particles are classified into two types either bosons or fermions. These fermions and bosons are differentiated with the help of the spin statistics theorem of quantum statistics. The particles of half integer spin exhibit Fermi Dirac statistics and they are called fermions. On the other hand, the particles of integer spin, or the full integer spin, exhibit the Bose-Einstein statistics, and they are called bosons. The standard model of particle physics shows the proper classification of the elementary particles. Here, the elementary particles are divided into two classes. The elementary fermions, and, the elementary bosons. The elementary fermions, are again classified into, quarks, and leptons and the antiparticles, called antiquarks, and antileptons. Now, the quarks, and antiquarks are divided, into up, and down quarks, charm quarks, and strange quarks, and the top, and bottom quarks. And all these six types of quarks, also have their antiparticles. The leptons, and antileptons, are divided into electron, and electron neutrino, muon, and muon neutrino, tau and tau neutrino. These also have their antiparticles. Since, all of these fermionic particles, also have their antiparticles, so, we will discuss about them in the next two slides, so that it can be understood easily. Now, let's have a look at the elementary bosons, which are divided into two types, the gauge bosons, and the scalar bosons. The gauge bosons include, the photons, W and Z bosons, along with, eight types of gluons, and graviton. And the scalar bosons include, the Higgs boson particles. The standard model of particle physics, contains 12 types of elementary fermions, including their corresponding antiparticles, as well as, the elementary bosons, which are called, the force particles. So, now let's look in brief, about the elementary fermionic particles, and the fermionic antiparticles in details in the next two slides. First, the fermionic particles, as we have seen already, they are divided into leptons and quarks. The first generation of leptons, includes electron, and electron neutrino. The second generation of leptons includes, muon, and muon neutrino. The third generation of leptons, includes the tau, and tau neutrino. Similarly, the antileptons, are fermionic antiparticles, where, the first generation of antileptons, includes positron, and electron antineutrino. The second generation antileptons, includes antimuon, and muon antineutrino, and the third generation antileptons, includes the anti-tau, and tau antineutrino. In a similar way, the first generation, of fermionic quark particles, includes up, and down quarks. The second generation, of fermionic quark particles, includes charm quarks, and strange quarks, and the third generation, of fermionic quark particles, includes the top, and bottom quarks. 
and finally, the fermionic antiparticles, called the antiquarks. Where, the first generation, of fermionic antiquark particles, includes up antiquark, and down antiquarks. The second generation, of fermionic antiquark particles, includes charm antiquarks, and strange antiquarks. And the third generation, of fermionic antiquark particles, includes the top antiquarks, and bottom antiquarks. So, these was all about the elementary, or fundamental particles, and their classifications, along with their antiparticles. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you.